One correlation I couldn't miss was the flow in pack beds because it is very common in gas absorption and distillation, which uses packings. And recall from the mass transfer analogies with heat transfer that, as in other systems, the chilton colburn analogy holds very well in single phase flow through pack beds. So what we want to do is try to compare JD with JA and actually what they have found is that they are pretty similar in the case of using geometry and flux conditions, so they are very relatable. In many cases, or most cases, mass transfer coefficient can be estimated from its heat transfer data. This is the specific case in which JD can be or equals JH, meaning that this is the heat transfer and this is the mass transfer data. Mass transfer to and from pack beds occurs often in processing operations, drying, absorption, desorption, as I was telling you, also distillation with packings and with gas absorption. Using a pack bed, large amount of mass transfer area can be obtained. So yeah, you were to calculate this volume and then you calculate here all the area. It's huge compared to a single package. The void fraction is something that you need to consider as well. Probably you know it. It's essentially the fraction of space that is not occupied divided by the total volume. So essentially if you were to calculate here, I don't know, this case, the void space of this cylinder will be, well, all this part right here is void. So epsilon will be the area of the cylinder, area of cylinder divided by the total area of the square. So that's essentially the void fraction. Typical values will go from 0.3 all the way to 0.5, even though technically speaking, there is no formal limit, but from zero to one. Zero means that there is no space, there is no void space, and one will be that, by definition, this is empty. For a pack bed having gas and spheres, so this is very important, gas flowing through spheres, and within the following range, which I think is pretty acceptable, a correlation can be given for JD. Essentially, JD can be acceptable to JH, which is the mass transfer heat transfer, mass transfer heat transfer, this number, void space, and Reynolds. Remember, Reynolds is given as follows. Density, velocity, the characteristic length, divided by the viscosity here. Uh, you got to ensure that you have the following ranges. Correlation values, pretty similar as well. If you're using liquid mass transfer, this is for gas. And ensure that you have both ranges correct if you're talking about liquid and if you're talking about the gas. Okay, and that's essentially everything. As I stated before, correlations are more important to know when and how to use them rather than the theoretical concepts that go behind that. Mm -hmm.